you know what? Some laptops really could use some extra cooling. Do these work? Let's find out right now. So when doing the Origin Evo 17S review, which you can check out right here, we found that some laptops do things like thermal throttle to actually do the cooling for their CPUs, etc. What if there was a way to give a laptop additional cooling? And that's when I thought about these things. And so what you have here, this is the Habit Gaming Laptop Cooling Pad. And I started to think, could this be something that actually makes a difference in the case of this laptop? So what we have here is the Evo 17S. We haven't done anything else to this outside of run Amazon on it. We're gonna go ahead and pop open ADA 64, just run a test here, five, 10 minutes, and then we'll, we'll do the exact same thing again with the cooling pad installed. So here we go. We're gonna stress all the thing. We're gonna turn everything on. So let's go to gaming and then go ahead and hit start and let's see what actually happens. So here we go, starting it up. See, let's give it a, let's give it like, you know, five, 10 minutes and see what we essentially get. CPU package is up in the 85. You're already seeing right there. See down there at the bottom, you're seeing thermal throttling already. And this is what it's doing to keep temperatures down is you watch this CPU thermal throttle. Okay, so there we go. We've got a pretty good idea. It's been running for about 10 minutes. I feel like we're in good shape here to go ahead and stop this. And this is enough data for us to see is the pad actually going to make a difference. So we're gonna go ahead and stop that. Okay, so now comes the next part. Let's actually unbox this bad boy, get it plugged in. Pretty straightforward, we got a USB. It's actually got three, looks like 120 millimeter fans. We've actually got this, oops, that just, weird, what is that for? Oh, it can go even taller, that's crazy. So you can like really set this up for cooling. Like you can have like uber cooler. Let's grab our laptop here. Oh, I get what this is. This little bottom part is to hold it. We've got a single 120 blowing into the main, but ideally this would be better if the fans were all placed like near the top. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna see if it's painfully obvious if uh, we're gonna get better temps uh, using our laptop cooler, so to speak. Let's clear the screen. There we go. Okay, so we're about the same amount of time. Let's go ahead and stop this. I mean, just looking right at this, like holistically, I don't see us getting any savings here. Okay, so here we go. Here's the thing, here's like looking at it, same amount of data. So temps one, <laughs> interesting guys, without the laptop cooler, our CPU throttling max was 22%, overheating detected. And then we look at temps two, which is with, we got a CPU max at 33%. I wanna do something kind of wacky here, guys. I wanna flip this over and see if it actually runs better the other way. So what we've essentially done now is we've rotated it. So now there's more airflow going directly into where the actual place should go. Let's just see what this does. We'll be back, but let's just see how it goes. Right now, this looks promising. A few minutes later. What we've essentially done is tried to create the best possible scenario. You know what's funny, like I started watching this and I saw this little area right here on the screen and I was like, oh man, maybe this is gonna work. Maybe like we will see good performance here. And I am not seeing any marketed improvement with the additional airflow of this device. Maybe there's something, I don't know. But using this particular device right now, what I see is we got three fans, and some RGB and a way to kind of lift it off of the table. But for the most part, in terms of it getting better airflow, I don't feel like the fans are making that big of a difference in terms of the overall cooling of the laptop. So, you know, honestly, I'm gonna have to give this thing a fail. We're looking at the data right here and obviously these things are having no effect. So, um, cooling pads. Uh, in our small, very uh, limited test setup, I would say, not really worth even the $40 this thing cost outside of maybe if you want to look cool and have some additional RGB. But if you've got a serious gaming laptop, we saw zero, I would say zero actual effect on positive temperatures. Anyway, guys, not about what I think. It's about what you think. 
Wondering and curious, uh, were you surprised by the data? Did you think that this was actually gonna make a difference? I'll be honest, I actually did. I, I don't know, I guess the answer is no. But I'd love to know your thoughts, tell us your thoughts. And you know what, maybe even win a little cash in the process. First and foremost, you need to leave a quality comment down below along with liking and subscribing to the channel. And then when I say quality comment, it doesn't need to be positive, unlike our review of the cooling pads, but it does need to be something either you liked or didn't like about the video, what surprised you, etc., about uh, the fan or the laptop or whatever. Um, just not, hey, I deserve to win. Can I have a free Origin 17 Evo S? Can you send me your free uh, laptop pad? Anything or weird like that. But you also need to ensure that we have a way to reach you via your YouTube profile, like your email. So put your email in your YouTube profile because we will be giving away $25 to one lucky comment down below. That is worldwide, as long as you can accept PayPal or Venmo. Are you just happy because of the RGB? I mean, is that enough for you? Uh, maybe you can also do it to maybe blow your hair. I'd love to know all of those things down in the comments below. Now, while you're down there, make sure you slap that subscribe button, whip that like button, and ring that notification bell so you get a notification each and every time we post a new video right here on Robitech. Did you know we have a live stream channel where we do like builds and special builds and events and stuff like that? You should check out Robitech Live down in the description below. So you can like and subscribe and also ring that notification bell so you know when we actually go live over there as well. Do you have questions about, uh, you know, these like laptop coolers or any other tech related questions then check out our amazing discord server over at discord.gg slash robitech it's filled with other tech and pc enthusiasts that love to share their thoughts and ideas about these very subjects are you looking for cheap tech then check out at robitech.com or at robitech deals on twitter where we have our guy tom scaring the internet for the best deals on all things tech pc games components you name it he's probably trying to find deals on it anyway guys you can follow me and my team on all the other socials at Robitech absolutely everywhere. We hope you enjoy this video and we look forward to seeing you on the next one.